food, pets and babies. We've become a world obsessed with living life through the lens of a camera. But despite smartphones and cameras improving every year, we still love to apply vintage effects and special filters to make our digital images a little bit more interesting. But why not have a go at doing this for real? Pinhole cameras are the spiritual home of photography and are very simple. They don't even have a lens. The best bit, they're incredibly simple to make. And combined with a bit of photographic film, are capable of producing some beautiful images. Each of these photographs was taken using a pinhole camera, similar to the one I'm going to show you how to make. Stiff black card, paper templates, glue and black tape, scissors, craft knife and a metal ruler or edge, aluminium can, needle or dressmaker's pin, cork and a pair of pliers, fine emery or sandpaper, and Velcro strips. So now you've made your pinhole camera, it's time to experiment and start taking some shots. The time that you leave your pinhole open for will determine the exposure of your photographs. But other factors such as light level, colour and texture of your subject 
and even the size of your pinhole will make a difference. It's tricky getting the exposure right first time. I suggest outside on a sunny day, 20 to 30 seconds is a good starting point. Start by photographing subjects with high contrast and sharp edges before moving on to more difficult subjects. Lastly, don't forget to keep your paper away from any light until you're ready to develop it. If you want to take several shots before you get in the darkroom, you'll need to come up with some kind of lightproof box or bag until you're ready. There are loads of other resources on the RI website, including how to develop your photographs. Enjoy using your camera and don't forget to share your work with us online.